Hey everyone, it's Neil from Neon Vinyl and today we're diving into an album that's been one of my favorite discoveries in 2022 and in my opinion, one of the best albums of the year, Preacher's Daughter by Ethel Kane. For those of you who are not familiar with Ethel Kane, Ethel Kane is a persona created by artist Hayden Silas Anadonia. So Preacher's Daughter is a concept album that weaves a powerful narrative exploring themes of family, trauma and redemption. Ethel Kane's hauntingly beautiful songs have made a significant impact on me and I've spent time over the past year just leisurely reading up on the meaning behind each track, reading interviews and reviewing online discussions. So I figured uh, why not uh, formulate this track by track analysis. But uh, please keep in mind while we'll be exploring the narrative and the themes of the album, there's also a sprinkle of interpretation in there based on my own understanding and appreciation of Ethel's music. As some of you know, on this channel, we talk about music that I love and Preacher's Daughter has undoubtedly really captured my heart and imagination. So before we get started, I just want to say we desperately need a physical release of this album. I'm really dying to hear it on vinyl and I really want to add it to my collection. So please, Ethel, if you're listening, uh, please give us a physical release. So anyway, without further ado, let's dive into this incredible album and explore the story and meaning behind each track. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest discussions about amazing music like Ethel Kane's Preacher's Daughter. So let's get into it. We begin with Family Tree, intro in parentheses. So this is a powerful and atmospheric introduction that sets the stage for the entire album. The track features a vintage recording of a southern preacher whose passionate sermon emphasizes the significance of the mother figure and her role within the family. This monologue serves as the foundation for Ethel's story, introducing her troubled relationship with her family, religion and past experiences. Set in 1991, the 13-track album chronicles Ethel's struggles with various aspects of her life. She contends with her faith, her former lover, her father, and her eventual kidnapping and murder. This uh, intro weaves these themes together, setting the tone for the emotional journey that awaits the listener. As we transition into the next song, American Teenager, we'll delve deeper into Ethel's psyche and the complexities of her life. The narrative will continue to develop and evolve, exploring themes of love, loss, and the search for identity in the face of adversity. The gripping and haunting introduction invites listeners to embark on an emotional roller coaster, which will ultimately reveal the true depth of Ethel's story. Following the captivating introduction, we move on to American Teenager, a track that dives into Ethel's frustration with the expectations placed upon her. This song reflects on the unrealistic ideals of success and ambition, which is often associated with American youth, as well as Ethel's disillusionment with those expectations. Ethel Kane addresses the importance of community and the need to prioritize connections with others over personal aspirations. As the narrative progresses, we see Ethel grappling with her own identity, as well as the impact of societal pressures on her life. Listeners are drawing further into the story, exploring Ethel's uh, struggles with her sense of self and her place within the world. The song serves as a powerful commentary on the challenges and complexities of adolescence, and as we move into the next track, A House in Nebraska, Ethel's journey continues to unfold. A House in Nebraska takes us through Ethel's reminiscence of her ex-lover, Wilbury Tucker. He left town before the events of the album. The track delves into the memories of the good times that they shared together and the longing for his return. We're introduced to an abandoned house where the couple spent time together and where they imagined it as their own safe haven away from their hometown of Shady Grove, Alabama. The track showcases Ethel's vulnerability, the longing for the past, while also emphasizing the impact of her previous relationships on her present life. As we transition into Western Nights, we'll see how these past experiences shape her current relationships and her continuing struggles with love, loss, and self-discovery. Western Nights offers a sonic commentary on Ethel's tumultuous relationship with her new partner, Logan Phelps. Despite his flaws and at times violent behavior, she finds herself hopelessly in love with him. The track captures her commitment to stand by him through anything, regardless of the desperation she feels and how little she has to give to someone so unstable. As the story evolves, we witness Ethel's struggle with her own emotions and the consequences of her choices. This track brings to light the complexities of human relationships and the sacrifices one is willing to make for love. 
As we move on to the next track, Family Tree, we'll delve deeper into the dark undercurrents of Ethel's life and the deadly consequences of her actions. In Family Tree, the narrative takes a darker turn as Ethel Kane reveals the deadly agency she wields, sowing strife within a complicated family network marked by violence on all fronts. This slow-burning tr and intense track portrays Ethel's descent into chaos and the impact of her actions on her loved ones. As the story unfolds, we witness the tragic aftermath of the death of her boyfriend, Logan, in a police shootout following a bank robbery and her own desperate attempts to evade the authorities. To make matters worse, she uncovers a disturbing family secret that further complicates her life. As we transition into hard times, Ethel continues to face the consequences of her actions and her troubled relationships with the people around her. Closing out Act 1 of the album, Hard Times delves into Ethel's strife, admitting to fearing how desperately she wants to emulate the fatherly powers in her life which brought her harm. The song explores Ethel's reflections on the abuse she endured from her father as a child and the complicated feelings that she has with regards to him. Her father passed away when she was only 10 years old, leaving a lasting impact on her life. As the narrative progresses, we see Ethel grappling with her past and the ways in which her experiences have shaped her present. As we move into the act two of the album with Fur Affair, Ethel's journey takes a new direction, leading her towards a chance encounter that will further shape her story. Fur Affair marks the beginning of act two, where Ethel, having run away from home, meets the charming Isaiah, who offers her a ride. Together they embark on a journey from Texas to California, finding themselves attracted to one another over the course of the trip. The track follows the pair as they find heaven in small town diners and motel rooms, experiencing moments of solace and happiness in each other's company. For Ethel, Isaiah represents the first man she has encountered since childhood who isn't angry or violent, offering a sense of security and hope. As we transition into Gibson Girl, we'll see how this newfound relationship evolves and the challenges that lie ahead for Ethel. Gibson Girl creates a sultry and haunting atmosphere as Ethel arrives in California with Isaiah, the character she met and became attracted to in the previous track. Their relationship takes a dark turn as Isaiah begins to pimp her out in the back of strip clubs and feeds her drugs regularly, causing her to lose touch with reality. The song captures Ethel's struggle with addiction and the destructive nature of her relationship with Isaiah, revealing the darker side of their connection. As we move into Ptolemia, Ethel's mental state continues to deteriorate, le deteriorate, leading her to confront the darkness that surrounds her. On Tolly May, the heaviest track of the album, Ethel experiences intense hallucinations under the influence of Isaiah's drugs. She confronts the darkness she feels enveloping her with the song's title references, referencing Ptolemy, the circle of hell reserved for the faithless. This reference could symbolize Ethel's feeling of guilt for abandoning her family and faith only to face a far worse fate. The track emphasizes Ethel's struggle with her inner demons as well as the external forces that have led her to this point. As we transition into August Underground, the story takes another dark turn, leading to Ethel facing her own mortality. August Underground takes us to a dark and unsettling place where Ethel is wasting away in the attic of an abandoned shack in the woods of Northern California. As Isaiah reveals his true nature, she is forced to accept her fate and faces the end. The title is a reference to the infamous 2001 snuff film of the same name, hinting at the dark and twisted nature of Ethel's situation. The track delves into the emotional turmoil of accepting one's own impending doom and the fear of the unknown that accompanies it. It also explores the depths of her despair and the impact of her choices on her life's trajectory. Ethel confronts her own demise. The song provides a harrowing and visceral experience for the listener, plunging us into the depths of her despair as we move into televangelism. We'll witness Ethel's final movements, moments and the thoughts that accompany her mind, providing a stark contrast to the brutal reality of August Underground. Televangelism takes a more introspective approach, portraying Ethel's death and ascension to heaven through pearlescent piano melodies and ambient noise. The ethereal track captures Ethel's thoughts and emotions as she fades away, providing a glimpse into her inner world during her final moments. The song explores themes of hope, redemption, and the possibility of an afterlife as Ethel grapples with her mortality. If August Underground focuses on the physical act of the murder, then televangelism provides a more introspective look 
at Ethel's internal state as she faces the end. It serves as a poignant reminder of the short-lived nature of life and the search for meaning in the face of tragedy as we transition into some bleached flies. We'll see how Ethel grapples with detachment from faith and community in the face of her imminent death. On the album's second to last track, Some Bleached Flies, Ethel laments her detachment from faith and community. She contemplates how she will fight the demons that have stained her existence and how she will rescue herself from the pain of the past and present. Ethel ultimately makes peace with her death and reflects on her life, family, and the man she never stopped loving, Willoughby. The song provides a raw and emotional exploration of Ethel's struggle with her past, her wavering faith, and the impact of her choices on her life and those around her. As Ethel comes to terms with her fate, she takes a moment to consider the impact her life has had on those around her and the potential for redemption. The track serves as a powerful reminder of the interconnected nature of our lives and the ways in which our choices can reverberate through time. As we move into the final track, Strangers, we'll witness the culmination of Ethel's story and the legacy she leaves behind. Strangers is a powerful and overwhelming ballad told from the perspective of a girl who has already been murdered by a serial killer, alternately and simultaneously sung by Ethel as an angel addressing the mother she's left behind and as the digesting meat eaten by her murderer. The song is intense and serves as a climax to the album, encapsulating the depth and complexity of the story woven, woven throughout Preacher's Daughter. Ethel grapples with her own mortality and the impact her life has had on those around her, providing a haunting and unforgettable conclusion to her journey. The song delves into themes of love, loss and complexities of human relationships and the difficult choices that define Ethel's life. Strangers serves as a fitting and poignant end to the narrative, leaving listeners with a deep sense of interconnected nature of our lives and the power of storytelling and music. It's clear that the narrative of Preacher's Daughter explores themes of family, trauma and redemption, delving into the complexities of human relationships and the impacts of one's actions on others. The album's haunting and powerful tracks create an immersive experience that transports listeners into Ethel Kane's world, allowing them to share her journey through love, loss and tragedy. As the first part of the trilogy, Preacher's Daughter paves the way for future albums that will continue to tell the story of the Kane family tree. Each installment will delve deeper into the lives of the different women in the family, revealing the ways in which their actions and experiences are interconnected. This exploration of intergenerational trauma and the bonds between mothers and their children will provide a fascinating and thought-provoking backdrop to the entire trilogy. So that's a wrap of our in-depth analysis of Ethel Kane's Preacher's Daughter. I hope you enjoyed exploring the meaning behind each track and gained a deeper appreciation for this incredible album. If you have any thoughts, interpretations, or insights you'd like to share, please drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your perspective and continue the conversation about this incredible album. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on our latest discussions about amazing music, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Your support helps this channel grow and allows us to keep sharing our love for music with you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep enjoying the music.